Well, let's speak now to Deborah Denise in Brasilia. She's the vice chairperson of the International Women's Health Coalition. Uh, Deborah Denise, good to speak to you uh, this afternoon. Will these proposals by governments to avoid pregnancy work in countries where access to family planning and abortion are so limited? So basically in Brazil, the epidemic is among poor women. It is concentrated in the northeast of the country. And these women, they do not have fully access to contraception, to early diagnosis. And as you said, abortion is a crime in Brazil. So, I mean, how do you see this as a, as a failed health policy in general? I mean, the fact that there is um, poor access to contraception and uh, education about uh, that kind of uh, thing of getting pregnant. We have basically two fail. The first one is that our Minister of Health has just said that we lost the fight against the mosquito. This is a kind of fight that we have to win. And this country won the fight twice in the last century. But the second fail is to face that protecting women's reproductive rights is protecting public health. But it's difficult to understand it in Latin America. Now, uh, Deborah Denise, is there a risk that um, this policy could force women in places like Brazil to be taking illegal abortions and putting their health at risk? Illegal abortion in Brazil is a reality. At the age of 40, one in five had performed at least one abortion. Again, one in five, one illegal abortion. So when we have this epidemic, but we have to remember that we have two countries in one. We have a social class split. Wealthy women, they will perform an illegal abortion, but a safe abortion. Poor women, they will face all the consequences of an illegal and unsafe abortion. Well, Deborah, how do you see this then? How, what would you like to see uh, the governments in Brazil and, and in countries in Latin America doing to try and tackle this? Sorry, I, I misheard you. How would you, how do you see this? How would you like governments in Brazil and Latin American countries to be, react, be reacting to tackle the Zika virus? In fact, they are not re reacting, considering women seriously, because asking women not to get pregnancy, it's not, honestly speaking, a health policy. It's something that it's only, it's playing with reality. So we have epidemic, we have a crisis, but in this political moment that Brazil is facing is avoiding an open discussion. Well, you, you say it's, uh, it's not a reality. Um, will education help? What kind, of, what kind of things should the government be doing to try to get this message across? In, in fact, the government, we are not awaiting more any action from the government. In my case, I'm leading a case to the Brazilian Supreme Court to force the Brazilian government to recognize the right to have a comprehensive sexual and reproductive policy to protect these women. And what does it mean? Access early diagnosis and access abortion in case women want it. And, and Deborah, some of the advice, most of the advice is directed towards women, but what role do men have to play in this as well? In fact, there is a huge silence about them, as everything in this country related to sexual and reproductive needs and rights. So basically, we talk about women, because they are in risk. But we forgot that to, to plan a reproduction, to plan a new baby, is a family decision. I mean, basically speaking. OK, well, Deborah Denise, we do have to leave it there. But thank you uh, very much for joining us from Brasilia.